So, how to order charts, how to update charts? This is in FOI system. First thing first, you have to go to Navi Planner. Press the six dots. Go to Navi Planner. Navi Planner will open something like this. Then, if you have your root from your Actis, uh, then you can transfer it. No matter what which format it is, it will just take it. So, you insert the pen drive and you go and load the root. First of all, you go to Voyages, like here, I've already inserted a voyage. So what you do is you go to General and then you load a route. Okay. After you load this route, it will come something like this. So it's calculated. So after you load this route, it will come one by one step, it will come. So you have to just press Next. Then it will come to optimization. You press optimize. Then you come to nav data. Now, in nav data, it will show you what all charts has been selected in your route. So, this is done automatically in your routes. Okay. Like example, in this, it is installed. I have two routes over here. You can select two routes at a time. So, second route, see over here, get data. When I press, it will automatically calculate how many charts are there. Okay and it will automatically calculate ADP, ENP. In this case, it is selling not installed, not installed. But you can see there is an orange. First, you have to make it green. So what I'll do is I press optimization. You can uh, do speed by water. Speed, you can put 13 knots. Doesn't matter. It's just for optimization. Yes. So basically, you have to make all green. Okay. Now, it is calculating. After you finish this optimization, then you come to nav data. Once you come to nav data, it will show how many charts are there, like over here, ADP, ENP. Over here, it is showing not installed. So what you do is we get, let this finish first, and then it will be seen in this nav data. While we come on the other one, this has already optimized, root optimized. Then you come to nav data. It, this this uh, route, I had, I needed some charts. So what I did is I press the get data and af after you press the get data, you will get to see something like this. Like example, see over here, ANP now is installed, ADP installed. Nav warnings, it depends on your nav warnings. It's not necessary. You can get it on the route as well, later on as well. But when, when you press this get data, it will uh, show you the list of charts which is required for your route as well as uh, which is automatically selected you can personally select individual rule, uh, charts also for your voyage how do you go about it you go to this chart and data and then you press this chart catalog after you press this chart catalog you can see down below there are a lot of charts what you have to do is you have to press individual charts or you can select by cursor okay you, you can uh, you individually select these charts or select by cursor one by one you can select and this will add up in your list these are the list okay so you can see 23 selected out of these charts and that is uh, corrected with your root so go back to voyage like I said it's still optimizing optimizing and this is showing chart is scanning once you get this uh, charts this is optimizing we'll go to root one once you get this chart it will say get data how do you know you have to uh, your charts are not installed you press this get data it will uh, calculate yeah so over here i already have the chart so it is showing zero mb but if you require some charts and require some adp and emp for your uh, voyage it will show something like 10 mb 20 mb 40 mb so what you do is you can see this icon get online so you press get online and it will come uh, some prompts like this is this mb next next and then you will get something screen like this installing okay that means the charts have already sent the request and you will be getting the uh, perm uh, permits and uh, the updates for that chart after that when you finish this this will come green you come to fine tuning you press uh, you press this play start calculating fine tuning calculation completed and then check voyage it will check the voyage after that you will come to 
final let this finish and then you come to final voice plan the main idea of fos is you first import the root or you make the root in this it's up to you uh, say, uh, press hit save like this is done voice plan let this also continue so you can pull your overhead clearance like for my case it's 39 and draft it is like around uh, seven meters okay so this is processing as per that and then when this is completed your charts will be on ordered online how do you know your request you go to this chart and data you unselect this and then there is a request history like here i have already uh, asked for this and this chart so this is uh, showing as sent when you get the chart online it takes around 10 to 15 minutes for each request so it takes around 10 to 15 minutes then you will receive this charts and updates so this is about ordering charts now how do you get uh, the weekly update and how do you export if it you're having a JRC or other like this you go to status page before everything you have to make sure that your system is online that is this this shows green this shows green FOS system is online if this is not online that means you won't be able to order charts you have to go to a troubleshooting process i will show you at the end of this video so let this be online and then only process with your chart ordering system like over here i have this uh, total 512 and up, not up to date is one that is one uh, russian chart which is not coming in my route so i don't have to bother because uh, when i will export this chart to my egg disk it will only calculate which is required in my route and that is uh, good enough so how do you go about updating your charts first you hit on every thursday first you hit this update catalog and then it will send a request like every i press update catalog select a and e e and e next and then it will create a request email format on your ship email uh, in a zip file so what you have to do is you have to uh, uh, take that attachment open that attachment and uh, i will show you what else to be done in that mail you press the update catalog and then up after you receive update catalog after 10 15 minutes you press update charts same goes with the uh, adp and enps you press the update catalog and then update charts so this is for thursday every thursday but once you receive the updates you have to check if you are having the latest update that is we you can see adp it's over here anp it's over here and you can check if your charts are up to date you can go to avcs export because you want to export it to egg disk your c tab if required because c tab if i don't think if it is required because we already have a bridge made that is ipad so you go to avcs export now you have to uh, export this to your egg disk so what you do is if you want to do it select by road it's up to you but what i uh, what we usually do is we select all the charts so select or right click and select all here you can see it's showing 512 charts and AIO chart 1. Then you press this export updates. Export updates and it will say only updates from last two weeks. Okay. And then after you select this, you have to uh, press the E drive, which when you insert a pen drive, something show, will show over here and then it will start exporting to your pen drive. Now, once you order a chart, like what we did over here, voyage planning, once you order these charts, it will send an email to a So you will be getting permits in this form of email. Um, like example, this is the one. So you can see this attachment. What you have to do is you have to drag and drop your desktop, create a new week. And then uh, when you extract it, you'll get something like this ABCS products. Inside this, you have permits. So these permits, you have to transfer it to your respective EGDISs. For JRC in this case, for Transas, it's done automatically. We have JRC on board, so I will show it in that, uh, this format. Uh, transfer it to your pen drive, and then I will show you how to go about it. So after you transfer it to your pen drive, you first install the permit, then you install the updates. Updates which we have exported from exported from this uh, tab 
so once you export your uh, uh, import your uh, permits and updates to your agdsis your agdsis should show up to date if in any case if in any case any of the charts as per your route in your agdsis shows an error what like so and so chart is not up to date so what you do is either you can ask help from whatsilla or you you can uh, get it done by yourself how do you go about it is first you close this Select your chart catalog. You can see there are a uh, full chart catalog over here. We don't have base DVDs over here. This is its workstation itself has lot of chart. You type the particular chart like CA one four eight, like an example, and then it will show you particular chart. What you have to do is you have to select this. Now when I select this. when you how to order this chart like you have already selected now you go back to voice planning any of the voice planning is fine and then press the get data button now remember we have already selected the charts so it's calculating like you can see now it has already calculated and this shows download size that is 1.37 mb so all you have to do is press this get online it will start asking uh, sending a request it will download by itself it will show something like this and then once we receive the update it will install it so this is how you manually you can uh, add more charts you can uh, ask for more charts if you require uh, that your passage uh, in your passage you want outside the uh, passage also you can ask for more charts so uh exporting is done ordering charts is done if you have troubleshooting that you don't have the charts are showing not up to date you want to order more charts is done this is all good and well when it is online how to check if it is to a troubleshooting process you go to the six dots you press the service tool and then Yeah. Uh, at at times your connection shows invalid or it is showing that it's not online. So what you have to do is you come to this service tool and then you go to this connection settings. In this you have to go to WAN settings and then you press the DCP IP and then press the apply button. What this will do is this will reset your uh, IP address and configuration as per your uh, VSAT and then any errors which is caused So in this iPad what you have to do is you have to go to this settings option make sure that your iPad is connected to your Wi-Fi that is Wozilla Wi-Fi you go to settings Wi-Fi and you can see this C ship is connected then you have to go back to the bridge mate you press the setting button and you press this request update what it does is it communicates with the uh, workstation and then it automatically downloads if you have some updates downloads that new charts been added it will show it up here so this is pretty simple you don't have to upload any route in this because whatever you are doing in your bridge mate is what it's just a mirror thing whatever is happening in your bridge mate in your route monitoring you are doing it's the same thing it will re reflect in your uh, bridge uh, this ipad so that's for ipad so uh, now next thing is how do you uh, know that which permit is uh, recommended which permit is required to import to your agdis you go to that x uh, file which we received it by email whenever you uh, send a request of a new chart they will send you a permit by email extract the files and then you will get something like uh, this folder in this folder uh, you will see you have permits and you have a uh, schedule a so these are the permits which you need to import how do you know they they already changed the name to backup master reserve and reserve 2 so you can use it accordingly to your agdsis but when you export it from fos you get a new folder that is this avcs export of falana falana week you open this and then you can see one more permit file so this folder you don't have to open this uh, folder contains four four folders which you don't have to bother this you straight away delete it because this is uh, if you in, uh, install this permit your Uh, agdis will not read and then your charts will go 
but don't worry it will not go because the permit which is uh, exporting from PDA, uh, this FOS is having a different architecture so what you have to do is what mail you receive you get this permit you install this permit because that is what the AVCS will create a permit and will send you by email other thing is uh, you get this AIO and ENC this ENC you extract it right click create an archive make it a zip file that will create like this this can be used to uh, import in your CTAB AIO and ENC you can use for inst uh, updating your egg disease so that's how you know which permit is right for you and how to uh, export it to your ECDIS, import it to your ECDISs and your CTAB. Last question is how do you go about uh, making an entry in your uh, NP133C? Remember what I said is you receive a file and then you have to extract that file uh, from this uh, email that is your permit. You also get this folder inside this folder you get this schedule a so uh, right now i uh, asked for three permits that is every time you order charts every time you ask for chart they will send you a schedule a so in this it's basically it's showing what all charts you ordered because uh, i had issue with various charts not showing up to date so i have to manually ask for the chart so it it has uh, three schedule a so this will show you all the charts which you have which you which can be used either you can stick it in your np 133c or if you want to save paper you can just show it to whichever auditor will come or external party will come you can show it to them so that's how you make an entry in your np 133c after this if you uh, come over here after installing all the permits and ecdis and aio you can come back to your uh, ECDIS. This is GRC 901B. Uh, you can come over here. You can check if the charts are up to date or not. If you're having a pay system, that is definitely having a large amount of charts. So for my case, I had a lot of amount of charts before the pays. It will show a larger amount of charts which are not up to date. So in that case, you have to update the permit and then uh, change the permit and then uh, install the updates so that's how you go about updating your charts on like this using the new FOS system thank you